We want to send things out to Team 12's Graham Resnick now, who's reporting live from the state prison in Florence. And Bram, the Baldwin family has waited so long for justice. How emotional was it for them today? Uh, it was very emotional. Dina Bowdwin, or Bowdwin's sister Leslie, carried the heaviest burden, seeing justice done for Dina just days after her own husband had died. I can't begin to name everyone that deserves thanks. Leslie Bowden James was struggling to find the words. Here to honor her sister Dina, she was grieving the loss of her husband. I have to... Um honor and thank my husband Mick who I just lost 12 days ago for his support and love over all these years. I believe that now he's reunited with my parents and with Dina. Only two years apart, Leslie was her little sister Dina's biggest fan. And she was the one who was supposed to have an exciting career get married and produce grandkids for my mom. But it didn't work out that way for her. For 20 years after Clarence Dixon's arrest for Dina's murder, Leslie pursued justice until her sister's killer was put to death. But don't call it closure. I hate that word. Um, everyone is different. Uh, this is finality for this process. And um, it's relief. <laughs> It's, it was way too long. This process was way, way, way too long. Leslie wants Dina to live on long after this chapter ends. I wish you all could have known her. I have just one request of you. All my mom ever wanted was that people would remember Dina. Please remember Dina Lynn Bowden.